Hi everyone, my name is Denise Walsh and I am an Ambassador Diamond with It Works and I am going to show you, um, share with you a little bit about what I use to help with follow-up. iContact is an email marketing solution to be able to mass email and mass train and mass connect with our customers and distributors on our team. I find this to be um, pretty user-friendly. There's a lot of tutorials within iContact if you have questions on how to format or create emails, that kind of thing. But I'm just going to show you a little bit about what I do, what I use iContact for, so you can see how this might be a, a good option for your business. You can see here that I just went to iContact.com. They have up here features, services pricing, resources, and then blog. I'm going to press pricing here because I want you to see that it is very user or very reasonable. Now I do think you have a 30-day free trial so you can see what it's all about and you can certainly try things. I'm not sure that you can set up autoresponders with this free trial, but you can do mass messaging. But you can see for $14 a month, um, you can have up to 500 subscribers, and then it goes up from there based on the subscribers that you have. All right, I'm gonna, I logged in to my iContact account, and you'll see that there are a few tabs here at the top. We have Contacts, Email, and Social. Contacts is how you add new contacts, new people into your uh, into your lists, and I'll I'll show that show you that in a minute. Email is where you send or create um, autoresponders. You send a one-time mass message, and then social is for um, actually it can connect with social media, so Facebook, Twitter, that kind of thing. Also, you'll see reports here, and we use that to really identify who's reading what we, what we send, how many clicks we get in terms of opening and working through our email. So our, the reports tab is pretty cool, too. When I press contacts, you'll see that I can add contacts. I can upload from a file. I do that often if I have a, a file um, you know, a Excel spreadsheet or something, um, and I can upload it from there. I can also do one at a time, or often what I'll do when I'm adding a whole list, uh, maybe of loyal customers or team members, then I will copy and paste all of the emails and do it here. So that way, um, you can do more than one at a time. You can certainly add a bunch of people and know that eye contact will only allow someone to be on the list once. So you don't have to filter through and only do maybe the last few days of people who have joined your team because you can just grab the whole list and eye contact will only make sure that they are added to your list that one time. So I'll grab all the new ones. You can browse your contacts. You can search. Um, and then I also like to add them one at a time when I maybe get uh, one new team member or one new loyal customer, and I can add it to my list here. So you'll see I have several lists. I have my ItWorks downline. I have um, Lead Spinner. Those are that's where I put all of my leads and prospects. I have loyal customers, and then I have personal enrollees. This is my uh, personal enroll distributors and my new distributor training emails. And then I have the VIPers who I consider my top level distributors. So I have several lists within iContact that I can add um, people to. The email section is probably the most important section and you'll see a few things. Number one is my messages. This is just a one-time message that you're kind of blasting to your entire list. So what I would do is I would create a message. I tend to use Message Builder. I think that's kind of the coolest one. A few, let's see if you go to Education, there's a cool one there. These ones are green. You can go to Personal Beauty and Care. There's a few It Works looking, looking ones here that I tend to use. Or see. If you go to general, I tend to use uh, this one as well. So you can pick your template email. 
it will give you the boxes and, and allow you to change the writing. So you can certainly add your content here. You want to add your subject line. You can change this content. There you go. I always make sure to add my information. And my phone number and things. And then I just press proceed to send. So it's that easy. You put your email, subject line, you change the content to fit your needs, and then I press proceed to send. Oh, it says I need a subject line. See that? Good. Oops, but I pressed ignore, so it won't let me fix it. I typically would press fix and make sure that I added an email subject line. You see that it says it's checking for spam. What that means is that it's often going to get, let you know if it might go into the spam folder. So if there's lots of exclamation points or lots of um, wording that might uh, trigger it to go to spam, then it will let you know that. And then I pick the set the list to send it to. Um, I am going to pick the VIP list because that's the fewest amount of people there and I'm gonna say proceed to send. You always need to give your initials and then you can choose deliver immediately or you can schedule it. This is really really nice when you want something to be scheduled the next day but you know you're gonna be in and out of appointments or you're busy. You can create several emails and have them go out at specific times. So I'm gonna do deliver immediately and again, this may be a one-time team email letting them know about an upcoming call, maybe a call recording that you want to send out, whatever the case may be. So this, is, this message is scheduled to go out today in just you know, a minute. It will probably go out um, in just a few minutes. So it says it's queued, and I should see it in my inbox here. Let's go to the autoresponders. I use the my messages, this once, once, a, time, once a month message or, or one time blast for my once a month emails, for um, announcements, for connecting with my team members regarding a specific timely situation. The autoresponders are something that I put somebody's name into and then they get an email from me maybe every other day, um, maybe every three days, whatever I set it up for, consistently. So this is more information about, you know, that's not changing, uh, this is new distributor information, this is prospecting information, and then I also have a loyal customer autoresponder because honestly I don't have time necessarily to follow up with my loyal customers like I should or I want to, so I have created some basic emails here. You can see there's 10 messages that my loyal customers get, so they at least, I know they're hearing from me in that way. You'll see my leads, uh, my prospects get 10, get 10 messages, and then my new distributors get 13 messages. Again, these are autoresponders that uh, make me look good, right? People think that I'm emailing them uh, personally, but it is all automatic. So you can see for my new distributor training emails, it says, welcome to the team. This interval means that it's going to be sent as soon as their name and contact is put in the list. Get started with your business. This is on day one. This is on day two. This is on day three, day four, day six, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So um, I use this for, um, number one, building the relationship with my new distributors, telling them a little bit about who I am and what it works is all about. I use this as a way to talk about the intricate details. You can see there's, uh, there's information on the compensation plan, there's information on the applicator, applicator rewards, what is the loyal customer program, things like that, the FitWorks program. I also use it as a way to congratulate them for their first um, for their first month and then their first 100 days in the business. So I, I believe that if we want our business to be bigger than ourselves, then we do need to have some of these automated systems in place so that way you're not sitting at your computer all of the time trying to keep up with, with all of this stuff.
You can even create surveys, which is kind of cool, um, asking loyal customers their favorite product. You can certainly ask team members uh, what subject they might be interested in hearing more about. Creating a survey and sending a survey can be very eye-opening. We also have images. I upload images to to my folder so I can use these within my emails because I find that people don't necessarily read, they skim. So pictures are a lot, um, speak volumes versus a paragraph. You want to make sure that when you're writing emails that you are having, that you're highlighting and you're bolding and you're creating lots of white space so people don't feel overwhelmed by your message. Think about when you get an email from someone that's a ton of text, maybe maybe paragraphs of text, then you certainly, uh, at least I know it's very hard for me to read it because I think, oh, I have to sit down and actually pay attention and understand. But if it's bold, if there's bullet points, if it's easy to read and there's pictures, then it makes it a little bit easier. Once these files are uploaded here, then you can easily add them into any um, email message. I'm going to press email right real quick and see if I can show you how to add add a picture in here because it is pretty easy but let's see I'm gonna delete this text go to image here at the top and then insert an image and you'll see the same pictures that were in my image library are showing up right now so I was able to insert that image and um, if I go back to text I can align it that kind of thing so again much more exciting than just a normal Gmail message from from you I'm gonna go to reports real quick I think that this is a pretty cool feature where you can see who's opening your emails who's clicking around who's talking to, to people this is an email that I sent out a few days ago about the prospecting webinar. And you'll see that 15%, uh, almost 16% actually opened the email, step one. And then you can see if anybody clicked on it, um, it says 14 clicks. 270 people opened it, 14 clicks. Um, not sure if that's good or not. Does, I don't really know what that means. But you'll be able to see when somebody does click on it who it was. Let's see. Oh. So let me get back to that. I use the report, um, especially if you have leads and prospects in there that you've met at parties or that you know, maybe you just were blitzing and you asked them if you could follow up with them. You put their information in to your iContact account and you'll find that you can go to the report section, find out who, who opened it and then you'll be able to connect with them again. So again, once you find out who opened and, and you know these people um, personally, you can, you can call them directly. So I pressed view report at the bottom and you'll see these are the people that opened my email. So what's cool is that I can go back ahead and say, okay, I know Karen. She's a lead I've been talking to. So I know that I can email her and, and connect with her again because she's staying on top of things. She's looking at things. She's staying plugged in. Um, I want to go back and see if she was on that webinar that I, that I, um, that I emailed about. So this is a very cool way to see who's actually opening your email. All right, well, that is really all I have to say about eye contact. I think that it's a, it's a very, very cool service. If you do not have it, I do recommend it. I do think that it's important to automate yourself so that way you can do what you're good at and you know that people are getting good service. So please let your upline know if you have any questions. We're excited uh, to take your business to a whole nother level. So have a wonderful day.